I'm so proud of them and um, the way that they stepped up. They step up every single time. Yeah, it sounded really cool and I was excited to like help out. I don't know if they told you that they were inspired by the last airbender. And uh, so we kind of boiled it down to the four elements and how they relate to Montana. We actually had more complicated designs originally, but we simplified them to the point where the four elements just as they're shown in Montana, like we've got our constellations and our night sky. We have wildfires, as we know, occur a lot in Montana. We've got rivers with fish and we've got um, animal tracks of animals that have lived in Montana in the past. We are just learning different steps, right? We are learning um, what should we say in terms of like being citizens and being responsible for what we are doing and which concepts we are bringing to the community to enhance the, vo the teenagers' voices and also how to work in collaboration with people that have different skill sets, different frame of minds, but they all have something in common, right? They are all belong to this community. They are all teenagers trying to be more active in the community they live. Lots of brainstorming, lots of iterations of, you know, are we just gonna do designs like pretty flowers and rainbows and looked at uh, resources online of other communities that have done projects like this and realizing that we wanted to make this unique to Montana so the bulb outs end up being specifically about summertime in Montana. It was actually amazing. It, it, it was nice being able to see all of the stands, you know, our local little uh, stands of individuals. And it was nice having the public be able to actually see us doing our process because last year there wasn't as much flow of people. So our exposure for this project was a lot higher than it was last year. Yeah, we got to interact with the public and tell them more about what we were doing this year, and I feel like that's a good thing. People know what's going on. Crazy and busy, but it was also really fun. Like, we were all just helping each other out. We could just, like, ask questions and everything. And we could also be, like, independent, kind of just go for it. Thinking about this process being about giving back to the community as opposed to last year, which was uh, helping educate the community about the importance of uh, and the value of young people in our community. And this year they, they wanted to do something that was going to be for giving back to the community. It looked super cool. I really like how it turned out. I actually think the river that I worked on, I think it came out really cool. I wasn't, it didn't look great at first, but then it, like we finished it and I was like, wow, this is actually pretty cool.
nice, like, to be part of this and, like, people to, like, realize that, like, you did some of it, too. And, yeah, it was cool that people were interested in checking it out. I thought it was awesome. I think the teens knew what they want to say. They were just also have the ownership of their work and they got together like in knowing some steps and now building up in what they learned last year. It's absolutely beautiful seeing this growth. They're truly the after school teen arts council and they truly attack things and, and make them happen.